Hello, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can set up your very own Minecraft beta server. So, to start off with, we're going to need some server software. Now, the actual Minecraft site itself, it does off offer a some official software, but it's really not all that good. So, just go to mcadmin.eu, or just Google mcadmin, and download this. This is the server software I like to use. I've looked into some other ones, like Bucket and stuff, but mcadmin seems to be really good. So just hit this download link down here, and it's just a zip file. So extract all, the, uh, extract the zip, and put all the files in a folder wherever you want all your server files to be stored. Mine's just on my desktop. So I'm just going to open up my folder, and you should get four files that look a little bit like this. In fact, they should look a lot like this, if not exactly like this. And we're going to deal with these a little bit later. So just keep these here, keep the thing minimized, and we'll go back to it in a minute. So, next what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up port forwarding because otherwise when people try to connect, their connection is just going to be denied. So, what you need to do is you need to open CMD or command prompt and just type in ipconfig. Now, a whole lot of stuff is going to come up. Just find the one that says wireless LAN adapter if you're on wireless. And IPv4 address and that is your address we're going to need later so write that down somewhere or just keep it on CMD. And also, we're going to need your default gateway, which is 192.168.0.1 for me. So, go to your default gateway, and this should lead to a page that probably for you looks completely different to this. But this will lead to your router page. So, just log in to your router, and here we go. And it really does differ with routers for this. So, I would suggest Googling port forward space your router name. Or if you think you know how to do it, then go ahead. Uh, for me, you go to advanced, and then port forwarding is the first thing that comes up. Some I know in my old Belkin router it was called virtual servers or something, but I'm unsure. Right, so next what we have to do is, in this port forwarding thing, we have to set up a Minecraft port forward. So just give it the name of Minecraft. And for the IP address, in this IP address column, again, yours might be slightly different, but there should be somewhere to put an IP just put this one that you see up here. So, as uh, as we've said before, IPv4 192.168.0.101. So that's what I've put in here. And then for the ports, we just want the ports to be 25565 to 25566. Now these are just the Minecraft ports that any Minecraft server will use. So that's why those numbers are there. Now I've seen people just do TCP traffic but just in case I've done any traffic so it doesn't really matter whatever happens they can connect so Minecraft your IP is found on IP config and then 25565 to 25566 and then just go ahead and save these settings mine's already saved so I don't need to okay so now we have the port forwarding we can actually get around to setting up the server so just run this mcadmin exe file and oh look, Merry Christmas, and it pops up as this is your first time. And it generates a tons of files in the folder as we can see. Just take the boxes as appropriate. So do you want your server to appear on the list? No. Do you want the global banners to be used? Yes. No. Um test server I'm gonna call mine. And my name is iMysticus in Minecraft. So you want to put your name in there. And then just click confirm. And it's already done these bits up here where it's looking for updates. So we can start managing some things. So let's just go into server props. And click auto detect on this thing. And oh look, it's now figured out my IP address. It's got the ports. And we can customize, you know, level name world. So it's going to look in the world map. You can choose the nether if you want. The default rank, I want to be guest. Max players, I'm going to set to 10. There are a ton of settings here, so do we want to enable PvP? I want to enable animals and monsters. And why not? Let's go PvP too. And then you don't really need to mess around with these last ones, although you might want to change the auto save every and back up any values. So then you can just save this. And there are other things such as player rank, so it's automatically set I Mysticus, which is me, to rank admin. If you want to change someone else's rank, you just type their username, so for example, my good friend Drummersock. Or let's go AHGC, A E H G C. If we just change him to an op and click add slash edit, oh look now E H J C is an op. So whenever E H J C joins the server, he's going to be an op. 
So if we just save that, limited blocks, I wouldn't worry too much about this, but you can basically just limit blocks. And there are lots of other things you can do, IP bands, rank config, command levels, server mods, but pretty much that's all you're going to need. Now also please note, if you go back, well, you don't have to know if you don't want to, but I would suggest having a look at this. If you go into the messages folder, we have lots of TXT files, and we can edit this. So this is the info one, so we can change the messages, the message of the day we can change. We can change the rules and our welcome message as well. So then what we can do is when we're ready we go back to the program and we click start. And it will just prepare the spawn area. So just give it a minute to do that. Okay, so now it's done that, all we're going to do is we're going to open up Minecraft. Oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh dear. There we go, we're going to open up Minecraft. And then you need to connect, I'm just going to log in, by your IP. So you need to connect to 192.168.0.101. So I'm just going to go into multiplayer. Oops, it was in there before. 192.168.0.101. And if you want, you can add in the port, but I can't remember it right now, so I'm not going to. So 192.168.0.101, just connect. It should log you in. And, oh, look. It's lagging a little bit, but you can see I'm in a server. Now, the thing is, at the moment, only you can join this. Well, that's a lie. But only you can know how to join this. If you want other people to join it, I'm just going to disconnect because this is a little bit laggy because I have a bad graphics card. If you want other people to join, let's just open back up our browser and go to IP Chicken. And I'm going to just blank out my IP here because, you know, it doesn't really matter, but they say you shouldn't give your IP to other people. And all you do is you get them to connect via this. So you say, in multiplayer, put this in as it, and then if you want, you can add the port as well to that. So all they need to do is type in your IP address and then they should connect to the server and you guys can play together. So that's the end of this video. Have fun making your own Minecraft server and have a nice day.